Welcome to the homework for Lesson 5 of Module 3, Grade 3. Name first, please. Now we're working on 7s. 6s, 7s, and 8s are usually the last ones that everybody really gets memorized. So now we're working on 7s. And adding 7s repeatedly, the trick to it is same as when you're adding 6s over and over again to figure out what the next 6 is or how many 6s you have what the sum is with sevens we're doing the same thing so you can see right here we're making tens and adding four fourteen and now if we have fourteen we need six to make the next ten so we have twenty plus one twenty one and then it's easy to add seven to one 20 plus 8, 28. And this is just how you add 7 over and over again. And guess what we need when we add to 8? We need 2 to make the next 10. So there we go. 30 plus 5, 35. And you know what 35 needs to make the next 10? It needs another 5. So we have 40 plus 2, 42. And now 42 plus 7, right? We already had the 2 plus 7. Did we already have that? No, but we have, right? We've got 40 and 2, so that's 9. 40 plus 9, 49. And then 9 need one, needs one more to make 10, so we've got 1 and 6. There's 50. Plus 6, 56. And then 56 plus 7. We've been here before with the 6 plus 7, right? That was uh well, we didn't have that one before. All right. 6 needs a 4. 3 is left. There's 60. 60 plus 3, 63. And we've just been counting by sevens, right? 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, and 63. And we can use that on the second page. Skip count by seven to fill in the blanks. Then fill in the multiplication equation and use it to write the related division fact directly on the right. So this is, we're working from left to right across the page. <clears throat> So here we have 7 times 10, right? That's 70. 7 times 10 is 70. 70 divided by 7 is 10. And then we're going backwards because here's a 49, right? We need 7 times 9. So that's going to be 63. It's 1 less 7. 63 divided by 7 is 9. See, because it's our, that's going to be our quotient. Fifty-six, 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 eight, forty-nine. 49, 49, 7, 42, 7 times 6, 42, 42 divided by 7 is 6. These kinds of exercises are really, one. it's really a lot better for you than flashcards because when you drill, with flashcards you get you can get really good at flashcards but it doesn't mean you're going to be good at using your math facts to solve problems except for when you're doing flashcards so when you drill with flashcards you learn how to practice with flashcards this is a 5 28 7 times 4 is 28 well when you do this kind of practice you're relating multiplication to division there's a lot going on in here at once 
your brain's making helping you make a lot of connections here and there's a better chance that it's going to stick 21 21 21 3 this is 14 7 times 2 is 14 14 divided by 7 is 2 7 7 times 1 is 7 7 divided by 7 is 1 